You know how yesterday in my video I was saying that Florida hasn't gotten any rain in a long time? Well, we're here at the boardwalk to kind of just walk around the boardwalk, grab some lunch, and um, <laughs> as soon as we pulled in, the storm starts to brewing. Oh wait, is that a parking spot? Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Don't ever do what I do. Aha! Maybe this will take away some of the love bugs. Yeah, nice. Okay, so about 30, 30 minutes of sitting in the car, the sun is shining. Don't look at the parking lot because it looks like it wasn't raining that long, but it's just so hot that the rain like is like soaked up. Look, like I can prove it. There's a, there's a drop right there. Like I'm not making like the, oh, what is that thing? Oh my gosh, it's a bee hooked to a bee or a dragonfly. Either way, no worries. Gorgeous. Look at the Skyliners. And you can hear when they're going around the thing. Every single one goes, do no no no. Which, okay, let's see if good old cat in the bag is working still. All right. The reason I said I didn't want to film inside of the boardwalk is because it's so quiet in here. It's like super awkward, so I'm like. I had no idea that the Bellevue Lounge was closed. Am I crazy? Has it been closed? Am I stupid? It looks like an empty house. Beautiful, just beautiful. It ended up being like a perfect day. And look, both friendship boats are just sitting here shoring. Wow, what cuties. Okay, so I just learned something new. I went to order pizza from Trotteria El Forno. Did I say that right, Trotteria El Forno? I was trying to order a Mickey pizza and they said that it's not open until five. So it's 4.45, so I'm really not that far off. Because when I tried to pull open the door, it was closed and she's like, oh, it's only open for breakfast and dinner. So, the more you know. It is so quiet here. I mean, I'm sure that's because there's really not much open. Like, there's no ESPN zone, no jelly rolls. There's no, you know, things open. Okay, we still have 10 minutes left, 11 minutes left technically. And time is passing so slowly. I can't. So Lord bless my stupid heart. I thought that was, I thought that I, this is where I was grabbing the door. I want to cry. That's not, that's not the trivia place. Help me. Help me, I'm an idiot. Okay, so they stuck this little sign out and I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just going to go in and see. So update, I went to Trattoria El Forno to order this pizza that, you know, is like supposed to be so great and everything. And they stopped mobile ordering because he was overwhelmed with mobile orders for the day. And they told us to go to Abracadabar and order it from there and that they would get it for us. That doesn't mean that that's always gonna happen. So like, I kind of could be making up a story right now, but we're gonna see. Well, the first one's been open. It's been adjusted, but it was, um, Special. <laughs> Here's the second. Ah, no, no. His ears got like decapitated. Um, well, it's not as bad as <laughs> But, I mean. First, we're going to try the gelato. Oh, it's so good. I'm eating it first because I don't want it to melt. I mean, if it melts, it'll be like ice cream soup or gelato soup, but hold on. It's like chocolate chips. So good. On to a french fry. Dipped in gelato. So good. Now on to the pizza. One bite, everybody knows the rules. So good. Yeah, so good. This is what's happening here. Everything's so good. I love the pizza. I love the gelato. Oh shoot, obviously. I love the pizza. It's so good. I love the sauce. I love everything about it. It's not like Disney pizza, but it is Disney pizza, but you guys like everything? Very mm -hmm. good. What's that? Oh, fruit. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> 
We got the same size, didn't we? We did. Fries and gelato. And She's very healthy. Fruit. She got fruit and um, bro broccoli. I would not recommend the broccoli. Yes. <laughs> would not recommend. They come in trees. <laughs> <laughs> so we figured out why they can only do four mobile orders a day. <laughs> it's because their fruit cups have like cantaloupe, grapes, they have strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, they have everything. So they run out after four orders a day. <laughs> oh, gross. Anyway, I never did an intro for today. So hi friends. Today we're going to go to Epcot. I will bring you along because I have not shown you guys Flower and Garden from my perspective. And maybe we can ride some rides. It's so weird, those guys were in the background of my video yesterday when I was walking through. I noticed because of her hair. I love blonde hair, so I noticed that on everybody. So if you ever see this video, girl, your hair is beautiful. Oh dang, put your walking shoes on now. The line for the butterfly tent has died down and this is my only chance because I will not miss this. There was literally no line, but like five minutes ago, there was a huge, huge line for my first time this whole year. There's a wasp right there. Oh goodness. What have I done? Okay, yeah. It's nice. Look at them. Huh. There's so many up here. What are these? Apples? Pears? Apples. Funny looking apples, but I like them. <laughs> Hello there. Ooh. You're letting me get close. I did a really awesome butterfly thing in Missouri and it was like this huge butterfly palace and they give you like this fruit platter to feed the butterflies and these flower sticks. I had so many butterflies on me that day. It was like heaven for butterfly likers. Heck for uh, non-butterfly likers. It's very hot in there. It's very hot out here. That was enough for me. More flowering garden. Here is some uh, little plastic container things carrying around flowers gracefully on the water. It's beautiful, it's majestic, it's everything you need for a flower and garden festival. And the entranceway to the land is actually really beautiful if you decide that you just want to take your time going up that hill. And look at it. Look at him. There he goes. Missing his tail. Now there's something we're going to do in here that's super important too. I know I say everything's important because it is. I have not watched Awesome Planet. I watched the Hakuna Matata like three years ago and said goodbye to it. It was great, it was awesome, but it wasn't Awesome Planet. Maybe, I don't even know if I like it or not, but we're going to take the next five minutes, wait in the AC, and we're gonna watch Awesome Planet, brought to you by Discovery Channel. It smells like Pizza Hut in here, like a Pizza Hut buffet, like restaurant thing. Mm-hmm. It's showtime. I wasn't able to get popcorn from the concession stand, but I'm sure that the show will be just as enjoyable. Perfect. That was the most pathetic clap ever, but seriously, that was super cute. Thoughts? It was really cute. I think I liked it because it's like travel-y kind of and there's lots of animals, especially ocean animals and I love ocean animals, they're so cute. And it was great. It was better than the Lion King one and I'm the Lion King's number one fan. So, if I can say that, yeah, I mean something. Okay, I feel very cooled off. That was so hot earlier. I couldn't even take it anymore. But I'm definitely feeling much better now. So, we're gonna go do the attraction I've never done because I have to. I couldn't have just made that statement and not fulfill it. Oh, bless the lucky stars. The sun is behind the shade, all the clouds, so it's making it kind of cooler for a minute. It is so hot. Like the other day when I said I was sweating in places I didn't know I could sweat and I'm doing it again today. There we go, that's like flower and garden-y, a garbage can with some, oh wait, that is really flower and garden-y. There's like shovels and planters and Home Depot buckets. I'm hot, so hot right now. It's like no matter what I can do, I, I just can't get, I just can't cool down. 
I think I'm gonna go into the prom building and just kind of hang out in here. See if I can cool off a tiny bit at least. I shouldn't be wearing all black everything. I should probably stop doing that. Well now my phone has officially overheated. It literally is saying temperature too hot, has a little thermostat on it, and I cannot use my phone right now. So, this should help. Yeah, I hope it helps. Very well. Thank you so much from Oliver by Lionel Bart. One time I came in here, by the way, there's nobody in here, and, no, and, no, and there was a prom. Obviously there's someone in here, goodbye. Alert, bad news, maybe not bad news for some, but I just found out that at four o'clock they turn whatever I'm trying to get to back to what it used to be. And I think it's like three something, 3.45. I don't have much time. Oh, and now the music's changing to cavalcade music. I can't handle the drama. Too much drama happening in this day. If any happened yet. Well, it's happening right now. The only attraction I've never done is coming right up here. Oh man, the security officer is writing a ticket to them. Oh dear. What's going on? Oh, the cavalcade's coming. Okay, it's pretty dang cute. You know that line on your yoga pants that's supposed to be like in the middle of your butt? Mine's not, and it's super uncomfortable, and I keep trying to rotate it, and I can't get it. I'm sure you all can relate. We're so close, I can almost taste it. Okay, we can do this. 91 degrees is nothing to us. We've lived in Florida for seven years. Come on, Veronica, the only thing you've never done in Walt Disney World. I have been just granted horrible news. This is the line. This is all the line. It's the final countdown. Ba -dee 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 Epcot, I mean not Epcot. YouTube, please don't copyright that. Oh my goodness, something I've never seen before. If you, I'm trying to pan slowly because I know it's annoying. But wow, wow, oh wow, oh my gosh. Oops, I didn't know there was still a line. I'm a fool, please forgive me. Now let me say I have seen, see, um, now let me say I have seen impressions of France before. So like, I mean honestly, I really have done everything that you could possibly do here at Disney World besides stay at the Contemporary Resort. It's the only thing I've never done. But this is, once this is checked off, Yes. It's a full theater and one seat at the end of the row and I was the last one in. I made it the next show. Welcome to the best day of Veronica's life. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Beauty and the Beast Cinema. Oh my god, she just said that we should sing along as loud as possible. Every day, like the one before. Can I bring some food along for your new house guest? It's a welcoming thing, you know? Um, no. By the rest, soup du jour, hot hors d'oeuvres, why we only live to serve. Try the gray stuff I did yesterday, it was so good, yummy, I loved it, I made it into a fatty cake. We can sing. I would like to erase that from my memory for the rest of my life. I did not enjoy that. I don't like that they changed the story around. It was pretty bad. I know I'm known as like a person who's like super honest and like complains about things that she doesn't really like, but she's not gonna pretend that she liked it just to like please everybody. That almost made me not like Beauty and the Beast. I would never let that happen. It's my monster favorite movie. She just got a new dog and she named it Belle after Beauty and the Beast. I mean, there's a lot of connections to me and Beauty and the Beast, but that, Wow, that was bad. They like tried to change the story around and say like LeFou set up Belle and the Beast. I'm super thrilled. I can say I've now done every attraction, but that was like a fill in that just didn't need to exist at all. They could have kept it a sing along. They didn't need to do that. Weird. And that's just my opinion. Like you could probably love it and that's fine. Like you guys, are allowed to have your own opinions. This is just mine. 
you might think that was really cute or something. I don't know. But I just like things to stay the way they are. I discuss it all the time. I get a lot of comments about that, that like I'm too honest about, I mean not even honest, I'm just too negative. So one of my biggest like, one of my biggest like, um, like hate comment things that I get a lot and I've been getting for years is that I'm too negative, but it's just me being honest because I'm not gonna pretend I like something if I don't like it. So I think it like kind of overwhelms everybody because like if I do like something, I'm gonna tell you it's great and I love it, but if I don't, no. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that bird out in the middle is dragging around some kind of weird fish creature. There he goes, through Harmonious. Nothing says catch a fish thing and drag it around World Showcase like, like this guy's doing. Can you see it? Can you see him? There he goes. Maybe he'll come back over this way. It's kind of like the kites from Epcot. Oh, no, he's bringing it to his babies. Turn your children's eyes away from this. While in Morocco, we have to pay tribute to a long lost friend of ours that everybody thought was hilarious, but he's gone now. Rest in peace, little donkey. If you look hard enough, you can use your imagination. Oh, maybe not. No, they, they covered it up really well. But um, the donkey is what we're here for. I love Morocco. It's actually my favorite pavilion out of all of them. I love everything. I love the details. Look at the tile work. Okay, take a second. Take like three seconds. This is all. I know the Mexico pavilion is pretty like beautiful too, but seriously, that's some, some sick detail. And I feel like it's just super underappreciated. Over here is the ancient burial of where you can wash your hands in Morocco and feel like you're doing it in Morocco. Ooh, the water is hot. And so is that piece of hair sticking out, hot. So is my bangs, hot. Whoa. I feel cleansed, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me on the hand washing of Morocco. Wait a second, what is this? I have never, today I said that I have done every Disney World attraction um, I'm a liar, because this is Rally of the Gazelles. I'm having a hard time doing this right now. I'm in Japan, I'm walking past the Furushi. It's really hard for me, I'm emotionally scarred. Have you ever seen the octopus emoji? I don't even know if anybody's ever used it. I mean, I have, it's in my most recent, but doesn't he look like an octopus emoji? Welcome to America, full house boys. If you look to our right, you can see the gelato stand is really coming along here. Right there. Looks like it was really big, but it's really not that big. Frozen is currently at a 90 minute wait. We don't have 90 minutes to spare, so we're gonna it's keep tiny, moving along. It's a tiny queue, so if you wanna ride it, it's not, it's not that bad of a Well, 90 minutes is a little bit bad. It's not 90. He told me 90. He's trying to tell you that so that you don't get in line because they wanna get out of here. Oh, he's tricking me. We're gonna go try to check out and see what like um blurry what test track is that? We're at test track right now, but it says it's a 50 minute wait on the app. I don't know, we're gonna go over there, see how it is, maybe we'll ride it, maybe we won't. But you know how you're always like walking by an attraction, you're like, oh that's only like five minutes. It says 50 on the app, like I did yesterday. Alright, we're gonna move along. That is definitely over an hour wait. The later test track. Here is the entrance to Space 220. You can see like the host stand right there. And then Wally from um, the Space Expedition 4530, you can tell Wally was here. And the first dog in space was the Dalmatian. I don't want anyone to forget that. Okay, okay, okay. Looky, there's Gracie. Uh -huh, she was the first Dalmatian in space. Well, dog in space. How cute. Briefcases. Attention astronaut candidates. This is video right. So for the more pilot on my signal. I'll oh my gosh, the stick's going nuts. Alright, we're gonna try for test track. It says it's a 30 minute wait. The park closes pretty dang soon, but alright, the wait time said 120 minutes. We've been in line for 40 minutes. I'm thrilled. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. We're doing good. We're doing really, really good. I can't wait to get on this. Here we go. Oh, oh. Will the 
again here. with the capability. Somebody forgot to turn off the robots. What robots? Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh boy. Look at that. Look at what I found here. This is a high quality stuffed animal. You can tell by the way the ears are sewn on to the top of the head. You can tell by the tongue the way the tongue is sticking out. Beautiful. You can also tell by the paws, the little putty paws. You can also tell by the collar and the spots. High quality right here. I might buy it just because it's obviously high quality. Look at this. If you know me, you know I lose my IDs and my cards and my debit cards and all that stuff. I just did like last week and had to go to the DMV again. But look at I found a Dalmatian cardi holder thingy. You can put your little key fob on here. You know, live the life. Isn't it cute? It's cute. And I can't lose it because it's around my neck. And if it's off my neck, it should be in my pocket. Cute. My heart is broken. I cannot write anything else. My heart is broken. I cannot write anything else. The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of other things. Of shoes and ships and sealing wax, of cabbages and kings. And while the sea is boiling hot and the weather pigs have wings, Kalu Kale will work today. Or whatever he says right there, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty the lights are going around. Wowie.